Today, I'm going to deliver a talk on our paper, Thin Grace, a simple framework for graph contrastive learning without data augmentation. This is the outline of our, my presentation, which includes five parts. Preamble, our method thin grace, AT thin grace, our experiments and concluding remarks. Inspired by the success of con uh, contrastive learning in computer vision, such as the seem clear here, tremendous efforts have been devoted to graph contrastive learning recently. In GCL, we learn graph representations via maximizing the mutual information between paired graph of augmentations that share the same semantics. Unfortunately, it's difficult to preserve semantics well during augmentations in view of the diverse nature of graph data. As can be observed in Fig 1, 2, 3 here, the structural information and semantics of graphs vary significantly across the diverse domains. Currently, data augmentations in CL that are designed to preserve semantics broadly fall into three categories. Firstly, the augmentation can be manually picked per data sets by trial and error, like graph CL here. Secondly, the augmentation can be obtained with the carbosome optimization. Thirdly, the, argument, the argumentation can be obtained with the domain knowledge as guidance, as, as, as guidance like, a MOC, like a MOC or here. All of these limits the efficiency and more general application of current method. In our paper, we attempt to break through uh, the state of us TCL framework, which takes semantic preserved data argumentations as a prerequisite. More superficially, as can be observed in Fig 4 here, we take original graph data as input, and the gene encoder is, is preperturbed version as two encoders to obtain two colorated views, and then we maximize the agreement between, between these two views with the encoder parameter portion as noise, we can obtain the two different embeddings for the same input. The, the, the two different embeddings are treated, treated as the positive pairs. We take other graph data in the same mini batch as the negative pairs. In order to understand why thin grace can succeed, we provide both qualitative and quantitative analysis here. As can be observed, the symbols of two glasses are distinguished by colors blue, blue and orange. We first train three gene encoder with these methods respectively and visualize the repetitions of original graphs with Disney in the upper row. Then we perturb the graphs or encoders in their respective way and visualize the repetitions of perturbed or original graph in a below rule. Unlike graph seal, sim grace and MOCL can preserve class identity semantics well after perturbations. However, MOCL requires expensive domain knowledge as guidance. In fig six, a previous work identifies the two key properties related to contrastive learning, alignment and uniformity. And then they propose two metrics to measure the quality of repetitions obtained by contrastive learning. Accordingly, we provide a modified metric for same grace. We take the checkpoints of same grace graph CL or MOCL every two epochs during training and visualize the two metrics here. As can be observed, all the three methods can, imp can improve the alignment and the uniformity here. However, graph CL achieves a small gain compared on the alignment compared uh, than 
compared with thin grains or MOCO. In other words, the positive pairs cannot stay closed in graph theory because general graph data documentations like uh, drop edges, drop nodes, destroy the semantics of original graph data, which degrades the quality of the learned repetitions. Instead, MOCO arguments the graph data with domain knowledge as guidance and can preserve semantics during argumentations. Eventually, M MOCO dramatically improves alignment compared with uh, graph theory. Simgrace can achieve, achieve better alignment while improving the uniformity because encoder pre-diversion pre can preserve data semantics well. On the other hand, although MOCO achieves better alignment than Simgrace by introducing domain knowledge as guidance, it only achieves a small gain on the uniformity and eventually underperforms same grades. Recently, graph theory shows that being is can gain robustness use their pro proposed framework. However, they didn't explain why graph theory can enhance the robustness. Additionally, graph theory seems to be robust to random tasks well, while being well performed worse against the adversarial attack. We aim to universe, utilize the adversarial training to improve the adversarial robustness of sim grace in a pretty simple way. However, adversarial training cannot di directly be applied in graph contrastive learning because uh, firstly, adversarial training requires labels as supervision while labels are, are not available in graph contrastive learning. Secondly, perturbing each graph for the data, data sets in an adversarial way will introduce heavy computational overhead to campus the first issue. We substitute supervised classification loss with, with contrastive loss to tackle the second issue instead of conducting a adversarial transformation of graph data. We perturb the encoder in an uh, adversarial way, which is more in efficient. The, all the algorithm for at least AT ingress can be found here. Additionally, we also provide the, the theoretical justification why AT ingress can enhance the robustness of graph capacity learning in our paper. We conduct multiple exper experiments to evaluate the same grace. In an unsupervised setting, same grace outperforms other baselines and always ranks top three on all the data sets. Generally, same grace performs better on biochemical, mo biochemical molecules compared with the Compared with data augmentation based methods, the reason is that semantics of mole molecular graph are more fragile compared with uh, social networks. General augmentations like uh, drop, down, drop nodes, drop edges, adopted in other baselines will, will not alter the semantics of the social networks dramatically. For us, Semi supervised setting, we report uh, two semi supervised tasks with 1% uh, and 10% uh, labor rates, respectively. In 1% setting, same grace outperforms the previous baselines by a large margin or matching the performance of state of the art methods. For 10% setting, same grace performs comparably to state of the art methods, including graph, CL, GOL whose argumentations are often with expensive trial and trial and errors and or Capson search. We also evaluate the transfer ability of same grace. We conduct experiments on transfer, on transfer learning on molecular property prediction in chemistry and the protein function prediction in biology following previous works. As shown in table three, Sim grace shows better transfer ability than other pre-training methods. Additionally, we, 
We should simulate. We should the superiority of simulators in terms of efficiency and the robust and the robustness. Finally, we perform high parameters sensitivity analysis and drawing the flow of the following conclusions. Larger batch size and longer training time is beneficial. Encoder perturbations is crucial in SimGrid, and uh, over large perturbations uh, will de degrade the performance. As for the concluding remarks, we, re re we, recommend, we recommend our recent survey on pre-training on graphs, which is the first work that pre presents a comprehensive review of pre-trained uh, graph models. In my personal opinion, graph contrast, graph self-supervised learning will de develop towards pre-training on graphs, which mainly focus on pre-trained, then fine-tune pi par paradigm. In fact, I have noticed I have noticed some recent advances are made following natural lang language processing. In a survey, we provide we propose a new taxonomy. Which characterize, which characterize the pre-trained graph models from five from five perspectives: brief history, model architectures, pre-training strategies, and tuning strategies, and uh, applications in social social in social recommendation and drug discovery. Also, we suggest the possible future directions. For example, tremendous efforts are forcing on pre-training methods currently. However, how to use these huge pre-trained graph models is still underexplored compared with the pre-trained language model in NLP. Moreover, a major limitation of pre-trained graph models is that they, are, they fall short of interpreter ability. Additionally, it's still under Underexplored how pre-trained graph models can benefit uh, from uh, benefit uh, other small molecule-related tasks such as uh, chemical reaction prediction, de novo molecule design. We provide uh, some useful resources we can here. In addition, in addition to the survey we mentioned just now, we also released a list of master papers must read papers, open source pre-trained models and pre-training stages in a, in a QR code. If you find there are other resources with topic uh, missing, uh, feel, free to, feel free to let me know via GitHub issues for request or by the email. We we will update this re repo and the papers on a regular basis on a on a regular basis to maintain up to date. Finally, I provide the QR code QR code of our paper our paper our code and homepage uh, and my homepage here. If you are interested if you are interested in our our work same grace and want to discuss uh, it with me, feel free to contact me by the email or Twitter in my homepage. Uh, that's all, thank you.